This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add a photo gallery to your Shopify Dawn theme. To note, this will be a completely free way to do so as well, and we'll be utilizing a free plan of a very specific Shopify app. So the app we're going to use today is called Zify Photo Gallery and Portfolio, and it has a generous free plan here where you get one album, 25 photos, grid, masonry, templates, as well as a nice light box. I think that's enough here for our gallery today, and this was the most generous free plan I was able to find in the Shopify app store. So let's go and set this up step by step now. First, we'll need to install the app here. So I'll leave a link for this in the description below, but you can also find it in the Shopify app store. Once you're on this page, you wanna click install, and this will bring us to the installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, we'll click install app here, and this will bring us to the app interface. So to start things off, we can see that our gallery is available on this page here. So if I click on this URL, it's gonna open up a new tab. We can see there is nothing here now because I don't have anything set up, but we'll note that for later. So when we add our photos, we can go and actually view them. So to start things off, we just want to add a new album and let's get some photos uploaded here. But first, let's give our photo gallery a title. I'm just gonna call this camping product. We can also give it a description. I'm going to leave this blank for now. Now to note with the free plan, we are only gonna get one album. So this will probably be the URL here versus the previous one we looked at, which is gonna show all the albums. Next, we can select whether to show the album title and the description. I'm gonna deselect the description here as I didn't write anything in there. Next, we can go get a album cover and you're gonna put the photo URL here. I'm gonna skip this step for now, but in terms of the grid template, I'll just leave this as masonry and I'll leave it as a default three columns. For the hover effect, by default, it's going to be zoom up plus text float left to right. I'm okay with that there. I'll leave the light box as a default and I'll leave everything else here checked off for the photo link, photo title, and photo size. Next, I'm going to save my album here and that's gonna be creating my first album. Next, we can go and upload the photos. Our next step is to upload these photos here. So if we click on upload photo, you can go and add these photos one by one. For each of these photos, you wanna give it a title. You're gonna call this number one. Then you can select the photo from your computer here. I just took a few screenshots of my Shopify store. We can also add a link, an alt tag here. So this is a descriptor tag for Google and for accessibility. So you should fill this out as well. For the target, so if someone clicks on this, it's gonna open it up in a new tab and I'm gonna click save for that one. Let's go and add one more photo here. I'm gonna call this one number two, and this will be the second screenshot here. And I will click save as well. So we've just added two photos there. Let's go and see what this album looks like. So if I click on my overall albums link again, and I click on the camping products album, I can see two photos are here. Now you may be thinking to yourself, this looks pretty bad. And that's because we need to go and actually enable the app embed. So to do that, let's go back to our previous tab. And we want to navigate to settings on the left hand side then under settings during the top section here it will say enable app so if we click this link here this is going to open up our shopify theme editor and by default it will open up this section in the app embed section automatically turning it on so what we need to do is go to the top right hand side and click on save so if we go back to our tab here and we reload we can see there is more formatting here and it's just loading our images now. In terms of other settings for the album page layout, we can set it to full width or box. We can disable the original size of the image in the thumbnail. We can set the albums per page, the header background color, the album page title, as well as the description, the load more button, and we can add custom CSS if needed. To finalize these changes, I'm just gonna hit save here in the top right. So if I go and reload the page here, I can see my two gallery images. And if I hover over them, it is zooming in just as we set things up. And if I click into it, we can see it's expanded nicely. And if you added links to, a customer can go and actually click on this photo and go into a different link. But in a nutshell, that is how we set up this photo gallery app and then add it to a custom link in our store. One last thing we can do is add this to our navigation so customers can actually find it. So on the album here, if we click into it, it will open up the exact URL here. So I'm gonna go to the URL bar and I'm gonna copy this URL. Next, I'm going to back to the app here and I wanna go back to my Shopify store. So I'm gonna click the top right here and that actually just opens up a link to my store. So I'm gonna to navigate to the Shopify dashboard here. And on the left-hand side, if we go down to navigation under online store, I'm gonna add this to my main menu here. So clicking on the main menu, I can go down to add menu item. 
I'm gonna call this photo gallery and I'm just gonna paste that link in there. Next, I'll go to add in the bottom right and then save menu. So if I go and reload my Shopify store, I can see my photo gallery link has been included in the top here. And if I go and click on it, it's gonna open up my gallery. Before I go, I wanna say that keeping track of how much money your store has actually made can be very difficult, especially if you're using spreadsheets or Excel. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you need to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including all your ad spend from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many other cost of goods sold options, including all your other expenses as well, such as transaction fees or ad agency costs. It's gonna include a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It can also have multiple stores in the same dashboard, if you run multiple Shopify stores and you can get started with a 15 day free trial. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app page directly. Free. So this concludes the video here on how we added a photo gallery to the Shopify Dawn theme. We used a completely free app that has a generous free plan with up to 25 photos. If this video helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.